What's up guys from Team Reaction Channel and Boruto Chapter 47 So, in the previous chapter we we find out about Jigen's backstory, where he come from um, his connection with uh, Kaguya and there was a cliffhanger about how to defeat how to kill Otsutsuki, right? And by the way, if you want to watch this reaction with the manga pages on the screen, link for me is in the description and comment section. So, we waited for this for one month. And let's check this out. Let's check this out. Oops. Okay. I mean, it's incredible Inferno. Oh, yeah, fight with... Jigen was discussing Koji. But he's just gonna absorb it with karma, right? No, those flames aren't created using chakra. They're natural, as in real flames. Jigen shouldn't be able to absorb them. Yeah, that flames was from the flamethrower. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like he's absorbing it. Uh, yeah, yeah, he can. Uh... Drinking them, he's making the flame smaller using his special ability. Oh, interesting. The Sukuna Hikona, Ishiki's secret jutsu. It can shrink almost anything and restore it almost instantly too. The only exception is living things. He can uh, he can shrink himself, but no other living things. Uh huh. But otherwise, anything does, even flames. What a simple but fearsome ability. So how does masked guy plan to deal with it? Uh, we and anticipated this happening of course uh, in fact that's why we choose this strike now huh what what's that Jigen's body has reached its limit uh, it won't last much longer oh yeah after the Naruto fight after fighting with Naruto and Sasuke I'm reaching the dregs of his remaining chakra too hmm He's starting to burn again. He would barely start to recover for, uh, from his battle against the two of you. So it's possible for him to continuously string the eternally burning fire of the flaming mountains right now. Seems like a rather abrupt end. This is the way to kill Atsutsuki. Are you even paying attention? You're still a dunce. Have you not been listening? He's got karma. As long as they have karma, the Otsuzuki don't die, they will keep on resurrecting. Yeah, and that's the problem. Otsuzuki Ishiki, currently he's got Jigen and Kawaki, two vessels implanted with karma, in short, uh, he can come back to life twice. <laughs> yeah, die twice, come back twice, you know, Sekiro. <clears throat> Isn't that right, Amado, based on your explanations? Uh, and now you're going to tell us how to take them down. Given that fact, correct? That's correct, Sasuke. You got a, uh, you, you have a good ga uh, grasp of things. You also mentioned earlier that if Ishiki were reincarnate in Kawaki's body rather than uh, this unsuitable Jigen, we wouldn't be able to stop him, and it would be the end of our world. But it doesn't make sense. Make sense. If Jigen were to die, were uh, taking Ishiki with him. Kawaki would be the sole remaining vessel. Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, we would be playing right into this Ishiki's hands. Isn't that right, Amado? Uh, don't tell me this whole thing was a set up for Ishiki from the get-go. Okay, whoa. Why ca what? What? Kawaki attacked Sasuke? Or Amado? I guess Amado. Uh, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, why Ishiki attacked Amado? Oh, Ishiki, Kawaki, Kawaki. He is under control of, or what? Okay. Ah, oh, no. Of course, no, no, no. Kawaki, because he he wanna kill him, because he Adam Amado Amado is a member of Kara. That's why. Okay, 
Long time no see, Kawaki. You seem well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why he attacked. I thought, like, Kawaki under control of uh, Ishiki. And then, like, the hell? But no. Um, <clears throat> he's just angry. Oops. Um, I don't appreciate the accusations. Uh, it's a simple misunderstanding because it's complicated. Just let me finish explaining and you will see what I mean. Mm. Jigen will likely burn to death in a few more minutes, along with Ishiki inside of him. When an Otsutsuki dies, the transfer into one's vessel begins automatically. Uh, even Ishiki himself cannot control it. It's a strict karma rule. And though Jigen and Kawaki are both vessels of Ishiki's, uh, Jigen's karma has had enough time to have completed extracting. So Jigen is full, fully re ready to be used as Ishiki's vessel at any moment. Oh. Uh, whereas Kawaki has still not finished the process, just like with Boruto, his Otsutsuki infication infication is in progress but won't be done for some time. In short, we cannot be used as Ishiki's vessel yet. So you're saying if Jigen dies now and Kawaki can't be used yet, Ishiki won't be able to come back for a, uh, for a while. At least until Kawaki completes before becoming a proper vessel. Uh huh. But... So you... And how to become the proper vessel? Okay, whatever. Maybe it will take more time. To karma spread the body. Uh, whatever. Um, that's one... Well, yeah. That's one option, to kill Kawaki and Boruto. What's the second? Yeah, Boruto, of course, uh, <laughs> won't, won't all of that. Calm down, it's, the, it's about time. Let's uh, turn back the feed. Watch closely. Otsutsuki Ishiki is going to show his true form. Ah, here we go. True form. Ishiki is going to resurrect? But how? I thought his vessel Jigen is already dead. Yeah, he died. Medically that is, but not as an Otsutsuki vessel. It doesn't matter if it's a corpse burnt to crisp. As long as his body bearing a karma, it will function uh, sufficiently to be a vessel for reincarnation. Kawaki, I'm glad you're here. There is something I want to confer with my own eyes. The, phenomena, the phen phenomenon uh, about to happen to your body. Eh? Okay. Uh, Kawaki started. Kawaki's karma started spreading all of his body. What the heck is going on? Mm, would you mind being quiet for a bit? I'm seeing this for the first time too. Ah, oh, karma disappeared. Uh, yeah, karma. Didn't disappear, but... Uh, okay. It's not just that uh, the rampage stopped. Look closely. Kawaki's left arm. What? No karma. Ooh. What? Karma gone. All of the flames were shrunk an instant. Such tremendous power. He's finally making an appearance. That's Suzuki's true form. Well, we know how it looks, how uh, Ishiki looks like. Uh, I might explain to us exactly what is happening right now. It appears that Ishiki's reincarnation is complete, using Jigen's body. That's clear, but uh, why did something weird happen to Kawaki Karma at the same time? Uh, it doesn't seem like coincidence. How is it related to Ishiki's resurrection? Of course, it's not a coincidence. Uh, when an Otsuki reincarnates using a vessel, all other karma implanted in other vessels are some simultaneously erased. All together, no matter how many vessels exist. I suspect it's some sort of safety feature to prevent the risk of creating duplicate copies of the same personality. But uh, that doesn't matter. What, what is key is that right now, he no longer possesses even a single vessel for the purposes of reincarnating further. Uh, at the moment, it's impossible to kill an immortal Otsutsuki for good. 
Uh -huh. Well, yeah, he absorbed all the powers. Whatever. Okay, that's his true form. Not so epic. Yo, it's like uh, Tomoe, right? Tomoe one. Anyway. Oh, oh, what do we have here? Old wheel. You know, <laughs> that's the old wheel. <laughs> anyway. And uh, that uh, Tensei Gun, Tensei Gun, whatever. But this looks like old wheel. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <clears throat> we finally meet Otsukitsuki Ishiki. Mm -hmm. uh, God Frog was done in. Is Kashin Koji alright? The plan was mostly fruitful. We were successful at dragging Ishiki out using Jigen. Uh, Koji has served his function. You mean he's not going to make it? Uh, that was never part of plan. We wouldn't be jumping through such hoops of Ishiki for someone who could be easily defeated. I'm not sure why, but I can't shake the feeling that he was fighting Ishiki, like he really meant to take him down. You did explain it to him straight, right? That this mission was one-way ticket to the afterlife. What's your point? And why are you so bored? Bothered? I know. I don't know. I truly can't figure it out. Why I'm so concerned about him? Uh, come on. He's fighting like Jiraiya. He's using wrestling gun. He's using frogs. That's why. Oh yeah. Hi dude. Hi dude. Chat police. All right. He's randomly shrinking. Everything he catches side off. Is he planning to destroy this whole space? I don't know, this new... what name again? Uh, oh, come on. How his how this duty called? Mm. Will Rasengan uh, Rinnegan? Um, anyway. This design of, you know, of I <laughs> looks funny. Anyway, all genes, all people have a predestined, predestined fate. Oh, come on, that's word. Uh, that's words of Neji in the first season of Naruto. The same words. That man bore a mighty fate, a star of change. Oh my god, don't, please, please, if this is a Jiraiya, if, if Kashin Koji is Jiraiya, resurrected, somehow, that, then, I will, I don't know, I will rage, I, I, I will rage, please. Please don't be Jiraiya, man. Now I understand. Amado had wanted to cling to it. But that man's Im mighty fate. To the minus cool possibility of change. Kashin Koji. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. That's the end. Oh. I don't know.
This is bullshit, guys. This is bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. Do you remember? Do you remember that time when um, during the fourth war, Shinobi War, when mm, oh, what's the name? Kabuto revived, resurrected, uh, all died characters. Like all Akatsuki and some other Shinobi, Kage, Madara, and there was an interview uh, with Masashi Kishimoto. Why, uh, why Kabuto didn't resurrect the Jiraiya? Why? Why he didn't that? Because Jiraiya is one of the strongest shinobi ever, right? And Masashi Kishimoto answered. There were <clears throat> it that it will be hard to create a proper storyline with that. It will be hard. So that's why Masashi Kishimoto refused to resurrect Jiraiya in the fourth Shinobi War. And it explained uh, why... Uh, and that was explained in anime that uh, Jiraiya's body at some deep of the sea, whatever. Deep in the water, body. So that's why Kabuto couldn't um, get his body. So, how? How this Amado, or who the hell created this shit? This clone, Jiraiya clone. Damn, I'm already shaking, dude. I'm already shaking. Look at that. Look at that. I'm 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 just I don't know. Everything like the chapter okay. The chapter was okay before before this moment. Till this moment. I was thinking to the last moment that this guy not related to J uh, Jiraiya anyhow like he just using his fighting style maybe he saw the stories of Jiraiya and he liked his style or something this Jiraiya that's a legendary uh, person and this guy just took his style I thought that maybe this is a son of Jiraiya or something. Just a son. Because uh, you know the Jiraiya. He's. Uh, <clears throat> how to say. Re researches. Mm. Jiraiya could, could have a child. Because he liked to be with the women. All the stuff. But the clone clone it's a oh I don't know guys I don't know this chapter this this chapter just just ruined probably everything if the previous chapter about Jigen uh, just 
that was a, a story hole, right? Because how Jigen could it participate in the fourth uh, Shinobi War? Uh, what is he doing? What he what he was doing during the fourth Shinobi War? Um, sitting in his place? Whatever. Where is he? I don't know. That's stupid, really. Great Shinobi War didn't affect. To Jigen, really, really, and yeah, you can remember Naruto Sasuke after that fight with uh, Kaguya. They started to fight with each other and they almost died. So that was a perfect, uh, perfect opportunity for Jigen to use their bodies with I don't know, maybe kill them, maybe. Somehow, no. Probably he even. Oh, uh, I didn't want to talk about that. But this one, this. Can you remember? Can you remember? The that someone created the clones, like, not the, uh, not from. Chakra Like you know uh, shadow clones wood clones uh, What else water clones anyway, they used chakra to create the clones That's what that was ninja to This dude created a clone or Probably yeah, probably I might have created this guy From what? From what? The, the most perfect clone was a wood clone. Uh, that was a Yamato clone. Even, even Zetsu, even Zetsu, because uh, the body of Zetsu is unique. That's a creation of Kaguya. And that's why Zetsu c can uh, make a lot of real clones. But that's ability of this character. He can create a real clones of himself. And and that's all. That's the only person. That's the only character who can create clones, real clones. Orochimaru, he didn't create clones at all. He could make uh, people with the, the faces, different faces, yeah. But he can't create clones. And that's the first time ever that Naruto, that in Naruto universe, someone created a clone, but not a simple clone, a Jiraiya clone, where he... <laughs> even Kabuto, even Kabuto, he couldn't find Jiraiya's body. That's explanation. Okay, pretty simple, but that's okay. That's enough to explain why Kabuto didn't create a clone, of, uh, didn't resurrect Jiraiya. I don't know. I don't know. Um, the, the, what what the fans will think about it? If if they will like it, come on. Well, I'm kidding. Boruto doesn't have a fans at all. Everyone reading Boruto because of Naruto. That's obvious. And what's happening with Boruto right now? That's that's a that's a stupid fan fiction manga. That's a fan fiction manga. That's not a, a story with the. It's, Mm, it's not a deep story at all. The more I'm reading this, the more I realize that the guy who writing this story, he's just, I would say, I can't say a noob, but probably a, a newbie. 
let's say that newbie or rookie who only started making mangas and that's his like first project and that's the quality that we're getting that's the i mean the story quality that like i think the fans can create even more deeper story than this like really the f if we analyze if analyze from uh what happened in boruto manga except the movie because the movie that's other what happened in movie oh what happened in manga the only good part of this manga it's the first chapter and the first page first two page okay where where the boruto is already it, i guess teen and Ka uh, kawaki teen also like boruto shippuden whatever that was the only good two pages that shocked you that somehow affected on you like whoa the whole corner had destroyed even the upper town the boruto lost or he's a scar like kakashi scar boruto using new uh dojutsu the Do dojutsu yeah with the eye techniques dojutsu yo that's insane some other new stuff like this karma yo that's a really something incredible and after that we're just getting another naruto season one with the worst scenario with the worst script than was in naruto season one we have again kawaki that's a sasuke we have again evil uh guy who using science that's uh jigen right uh we and he want to transfer his uh soul to other body same stuff as was in naruto season one with orochimaru and sasuke but did this that that's the last that that's the final uh point i guess i'm gonna read one more chapter after this one more just i want to see explanation how this did created jiraiya clone if this explanation will be fully explained not just like yo i found his body i used some um diving i don't know technologies or something like diving suit so i just lifted his body up and yo created a clone or yo th then that that will be really uh, yeah after that i uh, i will drop reborn i will drop so if i will not get i, I i'm 100 percent sure that i will not get proper explanation of creating this clone 100 percent like 100 percent but i just wanna see what the guy make for us how he will explain such a huge twist with gushing koji out i guarantee that this explanation will be in one line and like yo i just lift up his body and or i just use his uh dna uh somewhere from his shit somewhere right that will be kind of like that i think and that's a totally bullshit total bullshit
I need to drink water. Oh, easy. How long is this video already? 30 minutes. 30 minutes of my rage um, on this chapter. Nice. <laughs> Damn, I spilled my water. Uh, I even spilled my water. Come on. That's the first time ever, guys. Then I... I'm... Yeah, you can say that, yo, dude, it, that's not a rage, it's just like, eh, I don't know. Yo, guys, believe me, believe me. That's just, I don't know. <sighs> the worst chapter, the worst chapter of Boruto ever. I think that's the worst chapter. I don't know what to say. As... As a Naruto fan, as a Naruto fan, that's just... <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm so angry, I'm, I'm really... As a Naruto fan, that's... That's a harassment to all Naruto fans, I think. That's a harassment to to do that with such an important character. Even the Masashi Kishimoto realized that, yo, no, that will be that will be uh, too much. So. I just let let him go. But this dude who creating this No respect. No respect to him. One hundred percent. Again, I will read one more chapter. I wanna I wanna see explanation. I wanna hear explanation. I, I know that this explanation will be a piece of trash, but just, you know, just to rage more, just for, to rage more, I just wanna hear what this dude just wrote, and then, and then drop Boruto, that was the final point for me, like Naruto fan. If you're a Naruto fan, I don't know how how this stuff could be could could uh, like to you. I really don't know. Maybe if you a Jiraiya fan, maybe. But I think I think Jiraiya's story was awesome. Jiraiya's story was awesome. Finished. It was it such a deep dramatical ending and and this guy just yeah sad sad all right i said everything i said everything no point to revive the whole chapter because it was just talking, talking, and gigants to form, but... Kashin Koji ruined everything. Kinda like that. So, if you like my reaction, hit the like button, subscribe and share. Tell me what you think about this twist. If you're excited. If you really like that, that this stuff happened, or you have questions, or you pissed off like me, so waiting your thoughts.
Kind of like that. Pretty long reaction, by the way. Yeah, if you like my reaction, hit the button, subscribe, and share. I think I will make another video about, like, Cash and Koji, maybe. After uh, next chapter will be. So, see you next video. Bye, everyone.